Merry-Go-Round, a very interesting TBT matchup. Definitely can lead to some proxying going on because of just the way the map is laid out. Makes it pretty good for it. Give me just a moment here, guys, and I get the overlay set up, get the score going on. Currently 1-0 in favor of Innovation. No, none of these things are right. There we go, Innovation. Spawning in the 6 o'clock position on Merry-Go-Round, our red Terran representing Team Acer. It is Innovation. And in the top right corner, kind of at the 3 o'clock position, if I can tell time at all, we have our blue teamless Terran, Center. Looking to redeem himself after that last match where he got a little bit wrecked. Not really. I mean, he held off pretty well against that attack early on. It was just very, very well timed by uh, Innovation, that second wave coming in and dealing the damage when his opponent was down in armor supply. As always in TVT, it's all about the gas timing. We're going to see a 12 gas come out of Innovation here. Looks like it, it's going to be a gas first again. Yep, gas first. Signaling most likely yet again going for that uh, gas first Banshee. Being very powerful. We're seeing the same build come out of center here at 12 gas as well. Gas first. Going Banshee. He went later Banshee in the last game. I think he didn't prefer that. So he's going to instead have the similar timing to his opponent. Both players dropping the racks. <laughs> Chat is addicting. I apologize. I'm a little distracted here. I love reading what you guys have to say. Y'all are very funny out there. Appreciate the support. The feedback, or for better or for worse, keep it coming. We only are seeking to improve. Yeah. And there's certainly room for improvement. We are very new casters, guys. And we tend to be uh, a little goofy. We really enjoy doing it, though. So if we have uh, feedback for us, please send it down. Either leave it in the chat, send us a, uh, a response on Twitter on how you thought we did today. Hopefully we'll do day two, or I'm sorry, day three. We really are going to try to. Yeah, we'll see if Dragon asks us back again. If you let him know that you enjoyed it, he certainly will. Identical builds coming out of our two players here. Both going factory, both going marine, both going orbital command. On course for some interesting uh, Banshee play. It's always fun when two players poke banshees into each other's bases at the exact same time. You both kind of like poop, poop your pants at the same time. And it'll be all about micro at that point. Who can easily clean up the banshee, limit the damage. You're going to micro poop in your pants. I am going to. Is that how Actually, you avoid I just, stains? I just or? macro pooped in my pants. Oh, you <laughs> It is real. We are a little sleep deprived, so the poop jokes, although... <laughs> 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 Uh, it's, it's a hit with us. I don't know about you. Uh, just it, say that. It's a shit with us. <laughs> <laughs> Ponotero's at it again. <laughs> oh, starboard's coming down at the same time for our two players here. And innovation. <laughs> wow, look at the two supply depot with the marines at the in the middle. Identical on both players. Not important, but interesting. Yeah. Not important, <laughs> but interesting. The three marines exactly amongst the two. Do you think one is a fan of the other? I think this is a standard thing to do to prevent the scout. It's the SCV popping in, you want to insta-snipe it before it has a chance to really know what's going on. Um, so it's a standard play to do. Innovation poking out to the natural, possibly posturing towards taking a natural base here. This can be risky if you know your opponent is going Banshee, which he doesn't know just yet. This scout just now coming out. This scout is super late. Both opponents are both players scouting at the same time around the five minute mark. Not really giving a Con fuck. Continuing to stay identical, however. Maybe yeah. the timing's just slightly <laughs> off on different, you different could, parts. You could practically lay their bases on top of each other. They've done the exact same thing this entire time. Supplies are locked. Very interesting how well this is ingrained in both of their heads that they're doing almost on point with one another. This is the best build. Well, best build is such a subjective thing. This is one of the best builds in the meta currently for a Terran in terms of TBT is that gas versus Banshee. Yeah. Because it transitions so well into early tank pushes... Mm -hmm. Moves also into CCs, moves into macro. It has a lot of different points it can go into. It can go into mech as well if you'd like to go heavy hellion as along with it. Um, there's a lot of options. So the patch is live now as well for the Hellbats. Armory is now the only thing needed. Both players, first after their banshees pop out, going immediately into Raven. <laughs> and command centers. Yep. They go around each other's banshees, just, I guess, out of courtesy. This is hilarious. This... <laughs> I don't know how many out there have played Orc Arena of Time, but when you have to fight Shadow Link, very this similar to what's going on right this now. This is it right here. This is Shadow Link happening. Innovation is fighting himself, and Center 
doing quite the Ooh, same. Ooh, the Widow Mine in a nice spot right here. This wall is going to push this Banshee into this Widow Mine. He cloaks just in time, though. That was beautiful. He doesn't know it was beautiful, but it was. Oh, the that's scan. scan. Picking off immediately. Let's take a look how the Banshee Innovation is doing. <laughs> Innovation just says no there, denying that Banshee and deciding to go for the micro instead of trying to go right over the marines this time since that raven is there to kind of help out with the cloak. God, this micro is playing beautiful. He's picking off the marines, moving away. The marines have no chance of getting this. Picking off the CC uh, SCV yet again. Abusing that range difference. A little sloppy out of innovation. Could do better, but look how many marines he was up against. He's thinned out the numbers. He's still alive nonetheless, and the Banshee it's going to live. And there was a raven that entire time. like Seven it, kills. The entire time, the raven was right there. Yep. So he had ever, all the tools to kill the Banshee, but the Mike of Innovation is too powerful. Too powerful. Innovation with the superior control of Micro here with his Banshee. We're seeing Center go for another Banshee, which is the choice, again, a TVT player will be able to make is continue the Banshee aggression or swap out, go into a more macro play. Either way, they could help later on to pick off maybe some tanks. They do decent damage to tanks, but yeah, the Marines are going bad. to be there to help support that, as well as a Raven. Marine tank push moving out for innovation here. He loves Very these one-on-ones. Very specialized little squad there. Look at that. Absolutely. It's the Terran, uh, the Terran push squad. It's very powerful. It can get mad sight. It can do maybe one secret missile, maybe a turret. Oh, one volley oh. off for the tank as he does have the high ground and vision advantage here. Spreading out the Marines a little bit, the tank takes another hit. We're seeing the positioning game of TVT go on here. Look at that Marine tanks. moonwalking there. That, oh, I missed it already. That was cool. <laughs> yep. he's, he's getting pushed back by the tank. <laughs> little flashy play there from Innovation doing the moonwalk in front of his opponent's base. Quite little... risky. <laughs> but I like it. Stimpak coming out of our uh, Terran players here. They're both going. For bio tank play. Here's some damage happening. Oh, from that quite a bit. Banshee. Sorry guys, I missed that. Seven kills coming out. There's no turret at the main here, actually. It's Viking and the Marine's gonna chase it down. Scan had to be used for that. He lost. He lost about eight workers there, it looks like. Yeah, the Viking will clean up the Banshee eventually. Very two HP. Will it very, catch it? It will. It'll just take a while. Raven splits off. Banshee won't have enough for cloak by the time that Raven gets there. Oh, we got him. Oof. There it goes. Very nice. Great shot, Red too. More tanks coming out of innovation here. Oh, more ban- I'm sorry guys, I'm just not paying attention. Six kills out of this other Banshee here. So Senator's actually gotten quite a bit of damage done. Let's take a look-see. He's killed 14 workers as opposed to the, uh, as opposed to the five workers killed by innovation. Innovation is paying for no turret right here. He just now has the eBay. It's been sniped. Oh, innovation, what have you done? The Marines are here to support, but they're just kind of chasing the Banshee around. Banshee obviously faster than a bunch of Marines, fully geared, sprinting across a base. Yeah. Absolutely. That was quite nice. Even though he didn't get the first Banshee uh, damage he wanted to, he followed up with the second and third and got it done. He's now ahead in drones by quite a margin. He's 15 currently ahead Wow. of Innovation. Now that's significant. That is enormous. Innovation in an uncomfortable spot, but we've seen him pull out of this before. He's never quite down and out until the GGs are out. Yep. Still no eBay, though. He had to cancel it has not replaced it, which is an interesting choice, seeing as the uh, Banshee micro is very real out of center. Behind this center is pumping the tanks, getting the stim pack, getting the 1-1, one, one, and pumping the medevacs. So all the just the plus one in lieu of innovations yeah. upgrades. He's going for combat shields. He already he has stim. Not, he has stim, he's stim but does he have stim. plus one or anything like that? He has no like eBay, this. so right. no. So, center going to have be ahead in that sense, and if he keeps it up, he could be ahead that way for the rest of the game if he stays on top of it. It could be the power play that he holds on to. Now that we're in the mid game, we're going to look at certain numbers to measure the TVT, such as tank count, so six for center versus four for innervation, and medevac count, so four for innervation versus two for uh, for center. These are big indicators of how a Terran army is doing. Innovation allocation of resources, pushing there, out, yeah, ab thereof. absolutely. Pushing out? Nope. Not gonna push out. Oh, nope. Gonna push out. Ooh, more Banshee harass going on here. Still no turrets. Innovation. Where are the turrets? Ah, he cleans up that Banshee, but not before it gets more kills. Not before it cleans up another six to go to 25.
Innovation setting up here. He's gonna Doom Drop. He's gonna Elevator into his opponent's main. Very strong move on Merry Go Round here. The scan is there to clear the way. Only two tanks in response for center. The Siege tanks are Siege. Seeker Missile coming down from the Ravens. Only gonna get two of the tanks out of four. Innovation looking to hold this each head, mm, but it's, it's be not tough. going to happen. He is immediately surrounded and overwhelmed. He's going to get pushed right back out of this base. Innovation has to return home, but not before losing that Raven. Yeah, that attack was not what he wanted at all. He lost a lot of tanks, a lot of Marines. That was bad. Aggressive play here at the front. He may need to pick up and leave. It's curious. I don't know why he's doing this aggression. Yeah, exactly. GG comes GG out of innovation. coming out of innovation. That drop failing, unfortunately. The Banshee play is really what did it, to be honest.